In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy streusel topping that can be used in a variety of ways. Hi there, my name is Carly and welcome back to my channel, Adventures in Yum, bringing you delightfully delicious food videos that I hope will inspire you to go on your very own food adventures. If new to my channel, I share recipes for sweet treats and savory eats, food reviews, and yes, some cocktails too. If that sounds awesome to you, please consider subscribing. Streusel is an extremely versatile topping that can be used for cobblers, muffins, and more. One of my favorite ways to use it is to top cupcakes, cakes, and other desserts. Two of my favorite recipes from last summer that utilize my streusel topping include my peach cobbler cupcakes and my boozy peach cobbler milkshake. Growing up, my favorite part of my mom's cobblers was definitely the streusel topping, and sometimes I would just eat that. <laughs> Is your favorite part of cobblers the streusel topping? Let me know in the comments below. And now, let's make the streusel. To a large mixing bowl, combine 3 fourths cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Give that a quick whisk to make sure that all of the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Cut your cold butter into cubes, approximately one half to three fourths inch in size. Add the cold butter to the mixing bowl and use either a pastry blender, fork, or your fingertips to incorporate the butter into the mixture. I highly recommend the pastry blender because it works the best to incorporate the butter into the mixture. You can use your fingertips, but make sure that your fingertips don't melt the butter too much. Your dough is ready when it looks coarse and sandy, like what you see here. Do not mix into a cohesive dough as it will not result in the streusel topping that we're making. Pour the mixture onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet and spread into a thin layer. Place it in the oven and bake for approximately 12 to 14 minutes or until the mixture is a slight golden brown. Let the topping cool on a wire rack and then break it apart into small crumbs. If larger pieces remain, then add to a food processor and pulse until the streusel is in small crumbs. The two components of the streusel that have the best and strongest flavors are the brown sugar and the cinnamon. I add brown sugar because it contains molasses, which adds a nice depth of flavor to the streusel. The cinnamon, on the other hand, adds a really lovely spice note that helps to temper sweetness and it also pairs really well with the flavor of the brown sugar. The printable recipe for my streusel topping is on my food blog, adventuresandyum.net. You can find the link in the description below. Also, make sure to check out the third and final video of this cake series, where I'll show you how to make a light peach mousse and how to put it all together to make a delicious peach cobbler mousse cake. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please make sure to like and share. I put out new videos every Friday, so please subscribe to my channel for more fantastic treats and eats. Thank you so much for joining me today and click right here for another great food adventure. I can't wait to see you for my next food video.